Science professor at the University of Indianapolis is analyzing the implications of President Trump's refusal to concede to this point. She says students are wondering what could happen in January. News 8's Katie Wisely is on the story. Clearly some new ground for the country. Yeah, exactly, Scott. Good morning. So Dr. Laura Wilson says that this is pretty unusual. She says it makes people feel on edge and uncomfortable. More importantly, it makes Americans question where we are as a country right now. Dr. Wilson says the concession itself is more of a social and political tradition that Americans expect to see. It signals signifies the passing of the baton and provides the country closure. Now we're just months away from the inauguration and for president-elect Joe Biden, concession papers need to come from the president. The assistant political professor says Biden needs to be able to get his own personnel in place. And as for Trump, it's also important. He has a few months left in the office and is able to complete anything he wants and move his staff out. Dr. Wilson says the paperwork to begin this transition hasn't been signed because it would be seen informally as a concession. She says this speaks to the polarization in the country. There's a big wedge between us as a country, and, and I feel like this kind of reemphasizes that. I know I didn't have class today, but when I do have class this week, we're going to talk about it and, and how people, how my students are interpreting it, how people should understand this. And it's not just simply a disagreement between two men right, or an outcome of a major presidential election, but it talks more about our country and the transition of power, this peaceful transition, which is necessary in a democracy in order for it to be effective. Dr. Wilson says anyone in this close of a race should go through all legal avenues, but once they've been exhausted, she says recognizing it is important. Now, the UND professor says President Trump has the right to challenge if something was done unfairly, but he can do that while conceding, giving the current results of the election. Katie Wisely, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Thanks, Katie.